Well, it's an exciting time for us. I mean, this is what we, we train for all year. I mean, this, this ODAC indoor championship and then our outdoor championship. So expectation-wise, I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but to go out there and everybody, you know, perform at their best, to have their best performances of the year to this point, um, you know, compete, you know, every, every point counts, every place counts, um, but enjoy it. You know, that's the big thing, too, is not get so nervous, um, execute, the way that we've practiced all year and uh, enjoy the experience. That's really, you know, you want to be able to look back and say that you, you have no regret and you, uh, you gave everything you had. Um, well, right now, based on the point spread, we're expected to finish third. Um, I think that'd be a strong finish for us and give us some momentum going into outdoor. So we're just looking out to, uh, you know, get out there and run hard. I think we're going to perform really well. We've got a lot of strong athletes this year, and I think we have a good chance of uh, scoring a lot of points and placing pretty well in the championships. Um, I think that Xander Tallman, of course, is going to be back to defend his titles in the, the four and the two. And then Aaron Jong had an awesome race last weekend, uh, lit it up with a 6.91 in the 60 meter dash. So I think he'll, he'll be a strong contender. I would say at this point, um, Aaron Jong in the 60 you know, has, a good, has a good opportunity. And then um, Xander Tallman in the, in the four, possibly in the two, he's, he's bumped back to third in the 200 now, but uh, anything can happen that day. So those two, um, our DMR, you know, outside shot, our 4x4 four four outside shot of being conference championship, obviously those are individuals, but, um, but I would say Aaron and Xander have a, couple, have a good chance of being conference championships if they execute on the day of the meet. Well, we have Xander, who's probably going to win the 400 again. We have Aaron, who I think is going to compete very well in the 60, and I think we have a bunch of uh, first year distance crew that are going to compete really well and I think they have a chance of winning. I tell you someone who's, who could make a surprising impact is um, Patrick Robertson, first year thrower. I would say probably in the weight. Um, he's improved by literally three feet um, each of the last two meets. Um, he's coming around at the right time so I mean, he could be uh, you know, all ODAC, you know, top three in the conference here in the next in this in his first year, which would be great. I mean, now he's sitting fourth going in, um, so he would be a surprise. I think someone who tends to rise to the occasion too is is Kane Thomas. I mean, right now he's kind of sitting on the outside, but he could be a surprise impact in 800 um, and anchoring our uh, DMR as well. Well, uh, speaking as a distance runner, um, I really feel that our, our trio of, of young distance runners have a chance to really make a big impact. Um, I'm looking at Ian McDonald to have a great race in the mile. Uh, Max Trailer is going to do very well in the 5K. Um, and Levi Waring, I'm looking for a breakout performance in the 3K. Uh, it's going to be different because obviously the last three years we've competed at Liberty, but I don't think it should make that big a difference because it's all the same track. We're all just running. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't have too many thoughts. We haven't seen it, um, but I'm hoping that you know maybe being somewhere new will really uh, invigorate us, invigorate me uh, as a you know old jaded senior to to get out there and run even faster than normal. Well, it'll be different. I mean, one day it's it's not on a Friday anymore. It's you know an all-day event over there, and uh, it'll be different for us too. That you know we're actually having it on a uh, a week that we don't have that we have actually have classes. In the past, in the years, um, we've not had classes, so that'll be different as well. So I've never been to that facility. We've never been to that facility, so um, it'll be unique. But it's track and field, so we uh, we go out there and perform no matter where we're at.